Hi everyone, welcome back to Unbox Extreme. In front of me I have the Lenovo Tab P11. I'm going to show you very quickly how to set up a user on this tablet and then after that how to set up multiple users. So you might have a tablet um, to use for your family, so different members of your family, your children, yourselves. So at least this way you can log in with different profiles and each have your own apps and background and personal settings. So let's go ahead and switch on the tablet. There you go. If you haven't set up an account already, then as soon as you switch the tablet on, you'll see the welcome screen. Okay, so if I just click it up, go ahead and click start. If you'd like to follow the Lenovo, click and tick the relevant license agreements that you accept. Go next. It's looking for my Wi-Fi network at this stage. Now this only needs to be done in the setting up of the initial user. Once you've set up the initial user, you won't have to put the Wi-Fi details in again. So if I go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi details. Okay, I've entered my Wi-Fi details and it's connecting and getting the tablet ready. Okay, it's asking me, do I need to copy anything? Nope, so I go ahead and click next. I'm not bringing any data. So move on to the next screen. Okay, who is going to use the device, an adult or a teenager? Now this is the initial setup, so click adult. And then go ahead and put in your email address. Okay, I've just typed in my email account and it's going to ask you for your password. Okay, I've entered my password and click next or enter. Agree. Accept the time and date. Then select which features you wish in regards to backup. At this stage, I'm not going to backup to Google Drive. Um, I'll disable the allow scanning and disable the send diagnostic data. Click more, accept. and choose your service provider. I'll go ahead with Google for now. You can always choose Bing or anybody else you want. So click next to go ahead. Okay, at this stage, you can choose to use facial, facial recognition, user pattern, pin, password. I'll go ahead and just use the pin for this demonstration. It's easier. So I'll put in 5656. Five, six. Next, repeat it, 5656. Five, Confirm. Continue. And if you wish to use Google Assistance, you can, but I'll skip that for now. I'm not going to use Google Pay at this stage and not install anything else. Okay, finish device setup. allow access to your photos and other apps. So there you go. That's your initial user set up onto the tablet. So if I switch the tablet off, so if I was to log in now, it will ask me for my PIN number, which was 5656. And there you go, you're in. So you're in with one account. Now, let's go ahead and set up additional users. So if it's another member of your family, so you can each have your own profile on the tablet. There's two ways to go about 
setting up multiple users. One is if you scroll down and go to settings and then go to accounts and then you've got here multiple users and if you click on that it will allow you to add additional users alternatively you can just swipe down from the top again twice and where you see that user icon there you tap, click on that it will show you the existing users on the android device at the moment it's my first unbox account that i created and then you simply click add user a message pops up click ok and then it will now switch to the setup of a new user account if you give it a few moments it's now switched to a setup of a new user and then you go through the whole process again so if we click continue i'll check for any updates available it's already connected to my wi-fi network so it won't ask me for the wi-fi credentials again Okay, same as before, who's going to use the device? I'll click an adult or teenager. There's less restrictions that way. And then just simply enter the account details of the new account. Okay. Okay, I've entered the password of the second account. Click next. Okay, go ahead and accept the license agreement again. This is for the second account. And select the options that you want to keep. So I'll use location. Don't allow access scanning and accept. I'll choose Google as my search engine again. And the pin number. I'll do eight nine eight nine nine eight nine. This is for the second account. Okay, there you go, that's my second account installed. So if I now switch off the tablet, Okay, so here we go, setting up a new user. This will be the second account on this tablet. So I'll click continue. It's going to check for updates. It's already connected to my Wi-Fi from before, so no need to connect again. So we'll just wait for it to check for updates.
Okay, here is, it will ask you again whether, it, whether the account is for a teenager or a child. We'll carry on with a teenager or an adult option. So, log in as an adult. It will then go ahead and ask you for the login credentials for the second account. So, I'll go on ahead and add that. Okay, I've put my password in and click next. Agree to the terms and conditions. And it will go ahead and set up the second account. Okay, all the same options as before. I'm going to disable the, the scanning. Accept those options. Again, I'm going to use Google as my search engine. And I'm going to set a pin instead of facial recognition. So I do 8989, something easy to remember. Okay, continue the setup. I'm not going to accept any other additional settings at this stage, so click next. I'm going to skip the voice match and skip installing anything else. Okay, so if I click next, allow any options. So there you go, that's now brought me back to the uh, main screen of the tab. Got all the apps as previous, but this time it's logged in to a different account. Now, how do you check? So if I click the power button here, switch the tablet off, switch it back on again. It will show up any notification associated to the currently logged in account. But if you want to log into a different account, if you look at the top left, it's now got a profile icon. So if I click on that, you've got my Unbox account, which is the first account that I clicked, and then another, the second account, which is Jack. So if I click on Unbox, which is a primary account, it's now switching to the first account. And I believe I set the pin as 5656. And I've now switched profile. So if I go ahead and repeat the whole process again, so if I go to the accounts here, that's my first primary um, account that I've created. Then that's the additional one, Jack. If I now add another one and do the whole process again, switching to a new user. And it will go through the whole process. So I'll go through and set up the third account and I'll carry on from there. Okay, there you go. I've gone ahead and set up a third account and logged into it. So currently there are three profiles on this tablet. It's currently logged into the Jane account. If I now want to change uh, to the other accounts, I can just pull down from the settings menu, click on that profile icon here, and it will show you Jane, Unbox and Jack. Unbox was the first account I created. Jack was the second account and currently logged into the Jane account. So if I now switch the tablet off, so if I go back to main screen, Put it on standby, switch it back on again, scroll up, tab the profile button here. So it's going to ask me which account to log into. So if I go back one step, tap on the profile icon, I've got three profiles now, as you can see. Jane, Unbox or Jack. If I choose Unbox, that's the primary account I have. So it's now switching to primary account, I believe it was 5656. Five, five, and now I'm logged into the primary account called Unbox. Switch your power off again. And on, click the profiles buttons. I can now choose Jack or Jane. So let's log, let's log into Jack. Tap onto the Jack. 
it's now switching to Jack 8989 which is the pin number and now I'm logged in as Jack now while you're logged in I can switch profiles simply by pulling down on the menu tapping on to the profile icon and then clicking on the profile that I want to switch to put in the password and there you go that's as easy as it can get to have multiple users on an Android tablet in this particular instance it's the Lenovo tab p11 um, but the process is similar on all the Android devices so I hope you enjoyed my video thanks for watching till next time